Morse code, as you probably know, was the code used to send telegraphs. It is made up of a different series of beeps. To translate this, the translator would write down what he hears with dots and slashes. Then once the telegraph is done playing, he will go back and translate what he has just written into English. It was, all, it was originally created for Samuel Morse's telegraph machine in the 1840s and was used to send messages far away. Suddenly, telegraph wire was appearing everywhere in the United States. This let the military leaders tell what happened and what they were doing in the war. This made commu communication a lot easier and there was less confusion in the war. What you are seeing now is the Colt six shot revolver. It could fire either 36 or 44 caliber bullets. During the Civil War, the U.S. bought almost 40% of the total Colt revolvers. They were given to the soldiers in the U.S. for self protection and were prized. Most of the Southerners who had them got them from home. Samuel Colt patented the Colt revolver in 1836. It was patented for its revolving cylinder that held up to six bullets and had a new kind of cocking system. Even though the Gatling guns saw limited action in the Civil War, it was still important. Although it is not known for sure, it was probably the first machine gun. It was operated by a crank which rotated its six barrels. The United States did not buy into these for many reasons, but mainly because they lacked a trigger. Still, U.S. Major General Benjamin Butler had tested one of these and bought 12 at $1,000 a piece, which back then was very expensive. It fired 58 caliber rimfire copper cased bullets instead of steel chambered paper kind. This is what the Gatling gun looked like when it was firing. <laughs> you are probably wondering how it works. Each barrel has a hammer which when rotated to the top it, a bullet falls down through that hole. The hammer then hits the bullet which ignites it and makes it fly out of the barrel. <laughs> 